Shaman. What's, what's, what's going on, YouTube? Washington. This is what, 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 What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Jamari Four here once again. And we're here to discuss this recent episode of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. Who? Bitch. <laughs> this was an emotionally charged episode for me. I felt so many different emotions watching this particular episode. This might be a long video. I hope it's not. I hope it, even if it is long, I hope you're still going to be engaged, but. Whew. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Oh, Jesus. All right. So we just, we start the shit off right from the gate and Amber and Miles situation. So, you know, the doctor pr uh, prepared Miles for this. She's like, you know, she's coming. Just want to let you know. And... Amber walks in. She has this updo Flintstone style ponytail going on. I'm just like, okay, we're just gonna ignore that. But she came in and she got to she's like, mm, hey, how you doing? Mm -hmm. Hey, you look good. And you know, he's like, you look good too, whatever. He was just like, so I wanna let you know that I love you. And I've basically had, you know, since I was younger attractions to the same sex and she just falls out crying now I mm, at first it seemed a little tiny bit overly dramatic and manufactured but I can still get where she was supposed to be coming from the whole shit like she was running out on on uh The whole, shit, the whole shit to her running out into the damn grass like she like somebody just told uh somebody just told her or more that the baby daddy wasn't the father. She running out and shit, falling, collapsing to the ground, kicking, screaming, and making a fool of herself. I'm just like, okay, girl, I understand that you could be mad, you could be pissy mad in that room. Don't be flailing out into the damn yard and shit, <laughs> acting a damn fool and. I'm trying to hit up on him, she getting mad. She's like, everybody was right, everybody was right. You gay, you this, that, that, and forth. And I'm just like, I mean, bitch, are you trying to use this as an attack? Because if that's the case, if everybody was right and you didn't listen, that makes you stupid. <laughs> that makes you stupid, not me. So I mean, what is you, did you try to say? <laughs> and I was just like, oh, and he's crying and he's you know dealing with it. And, she, and you know, she talks to him. Or the, the counselor talks to him um, from what she said in the car. And she's just like, you know, I can't really fuck with him right now. But I do want to have a conversation, which is fair. Like, you can't give, I guess, that kind of a blow to somebody and just expect them to deal with it all at once. You know, because it, <clears throat> for some reason, well, no, that's not true. No, that's not true. I was about to say, for some reason, it's harder to tell the females in our family that were gay than the males and that's really not that true that's really not true i don't know nah, that would have been a lie <laughs> that would have been a bold-faced lie um but apparently says so she still loves him and but she's angry she doesn't want to see him she says she's violent right now i'm just like okay high emotions i get it okay violent mm. all right so <clears throat> Next we get to, you know, Nikki and Shonda, they doing this whole workout thing. Is workout is working out trying to be the next excuse for these bitches to get up to meet up? Because first of all, you ain't gonna work out in makeup because you're gonna sweat. Secondly, your hair's not gonna be done. It's not gonna your hair is not gonna be in a cute little style. You're not gonna have on jewelry and accessories. I'm like, girl, okay, working out. Mm-hmm. Whatever. <laughs> um Basically, this is when Nikki says, okay, Nas has some event, like everybody else on the show has events, that they're inviting other people to so they can talk and discuss shit. So she's having some open house fashion something. The same bitch that all these bitches have when I'm loving hip hop. Every bitch has a fashion event that they're hosting. <laughs> 
or some openings of some store or something of the sort. It's whatever. <clears throat> so then we get to Brandy and Tiny. Girl, why was Tiny looking like the Little Mermaid with blue hair? Like, I was wondering, like, is, is this after she done got them things done to her pupils? And it is. And I'm just like, oh, mm, girl, girl. <laughs> I can't, I'm too scared to do that. Like, I can't, like, that's why I'm always scared to, like, do LASIK eye surgery and shit. Like, it's, that shit's scary. And I don't, mm, maybe in the future, but I don't know. That's, that's just some scary shit to me. But she basically is, you know, telling her, you have to be a man. You have to work things out. And, you know, even though she was saying, yeah, he does this, but you also, you know, you kind of crazy too, bitch. And she, you know, laughed it off and admitted, okay, I know I can be a little high strong. And she was basically taking responsibility for her part in the relationship. And that's what Tiny and her blue hair was supposed to be providing, being that type of voice playing devil's advocate for the other side. So I was like, okay, that's cute. Then we got Ray J and Tierra meeting up at their spot where they always fight, argue, and leave. Um, they, you know, it's it's just the whole princess thing. She tried to say you, that you were foul and you would, uh, the only reason that you was fucking with her was that you're trying to get back in my bed. And I'm like, okay, we know that's true. This is true. <laughs> well, I think it was only partially true. I don't think that was the sole purpose of, of her fucking, I, I really think that majority of it was because y'all tried to fuck her over so bad the year prior and say all this shit about her. That she just, that's the only way that she could find to uh, get back at y'all, <laughs> so to speak. It was just the only way that she knew that she could get back at you was to try to fuck y'all up. Now, does she probably still want to fuck Ray J? Maybe. But I don't really don't think she cares as much like she did before. At least not, at least to me, she doesn't. So she was trying to say, you shady, you this and you that. And she was trying to be like, yo, the same thing that you saying about me right now is the same shit that applies to you, motherfucker. And he's trying to be like, oh, don't, don't uh, say my name. Don't call me. Don't text me. She's like, girl, Mumbai, you have a fine bitch ass life. And she left. And I'm just like, okay, they're going to probably fuck one more, at least one more time. They're going to probably fuck one more time and then be done. <laughs> um, so the DL gay man and Kermit the Frog are in the studio, a.k.a. Fizz and Max. And, you know, he's putting down some track. And they had this whole discussion about the ring and what it means and, you know, how it should be respected and whatnot. And Max was giving a thing like, well, I mean, she's crazy, so that's why I really don't wear the ring. And, you know, even though I don't wear the ring, it doesn't necessarily mean that we not married and this, that, and the fourth. And I'm just like, this is that dumb nigga logic. Like, even, I'm glad Fizz had enough sense to be like, a ring is a representation. Wearing your ring is a representation of the commitment you put under God to be married to this woman. And the fact that you just dismiss it, throw it, toss it, and just be straight up passive about it, it's just like you're being passive about your whole commitment that you made. Trying to say that, oh, we're still married even if I wear the ring or not, it's just a sign of respect. That's just, it's an unwritten rule of respect. Hell, it, is it is it written somewhere? Uh, probably not. But it's just an unwritten rule of respect that you just, you know, you should wear your ring if you're married to somebody, hell. Like, if you say that you love the person, you would want to wear your ring. At least that's for me. I'm like Fizz. Like, if I was in a relationship, like, especially married, I would be, you know, <clears throat> only with that person. I would be happy to wear my ring. I would be excited to, to wear the shit. But the fact that he's just like, oh, it don't, it don't really mean much. Girl, that's why you fuck it up with your, with your damn relationship now. But he makes up for it later, but we'll get to that in a minute. Amber and her grandmother. Why did they put her grandmother on there with that fucked up wig? Like, it had no bounce. It had no volume. It was thirsty. It was dry. It was just, just fucked. It was just, just stringy. I'm like, somebody help her. <laughs> y'all producers, y'all ain't an ounce of shit for having that dear old woman on that screen looking the way she did. You ain't shit. You ain't shit. But her and Amber talk about the house, the fact that she was gay, and she was like, I knew it, I knew it. I, I just didn't want to say nothing, but baby, he's going to be all right. 
and she's just giving this whole reaction. I'm just like, I I have an issue, a little issue with people trying to make it seem like being gay is like some sort of disres disrespect and like we're just doing something so wrong and evil when the rest of the world does so many wrong and evil things and all we try to do is love each other. But that's a whole nother video. We not, we not even about to go all the way over there. We gonna stay right here <laughs> on topic. But uh, I'm just like, and then she's trying to hug her and bring her into her bosom, talking about it's gonna be okay. You don't gotta deal with that no more. It just, it's just wording. It's, it's just wording and how she uses. I'm like, what are we the fucking play now? But uh, I, I guess she, she, she doesn't want to see her granddaughter hurt. <laughs> Whatever. Soldier and Nia, girl, boo, bye. I. Mm, both of y'all are full of shit to me. <laughs> both of y'all are full of shit. But I guess in this particular situation, well, nah, both of y'all are full of shit. Because Nia, girl, you said you've done this for nine years and that he hasn't changed. You mean to tell me now, after nine years and him, of him fucking every bitch that comes his way, including your best friend, well, so-called ex-best friend, and that still, during those nine years, was not enough for you to chuck up the motherfucking deuces, bitch. So, I have to look at you like, bitch, you stupid? Nine years, bitch? And you still couldn't get it together? And now you want to come down to him for all the bitches? But he said, but earlier, I swear, the first episode or something, you were like, oh, I'm okay, or we're okay now, we're working on it, even though I know he fucking every bitch. But I guess now since it's your best friend, oh, now it's an issue. Now we have a problem. Now we have to talk about it. No. Bitch, please. And then, Soldier Boy, girl, you, mm, you, what the, okay. All right. Let's get together. Tell me why this man tried to flip the script, talking about some, you went and had a baby. And she was like, we were not together, motherfucker. What I do outside of us being together is my business. So, okay, if I had one baby by a man, I'm, 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 I'm damn sure or I am confident that Nia's body count is lower than Soldier Boy. So just because the fact that I had a baby does not excuse the 50,000 pussies you decide to fall into, bitch. Don't try to sit up and say, oh, because you had a baby, that somehow equates to you fucking every thought on every corner in every state. No, 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 no. And then he tried to say, like, you got you and your thought ass friends who be fucking up everybody. Like, that shit not cool. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck does what they do with their vaginas have to do with this right here? What the fuck does that have to do with what we're talking about? I'm talking about your your friends, what they bring. What the fuck they got to do with our relationship? Are our, our, our friends, are my friends in our relationship? Is this an org? Uh, is this an orgy? Is this a um, sister wives? Like, what the fuck does that have to do? And then he tried to, y'all see, he tried to slide in. I'm worth 25 million. What the fuck they got? Okay. Soldier boy, you were trying to pull out everything. You are reaching from every four corner of the universe to try to fill out like an excuse for this bullshit that you're trying to pull. <coughs> what does the fact that you being toward 25 million have to do with anything? And shit, I question that. Hell, might even be two million, if that. That still might be a stretch. Cause Soldier Boy, when was the last time you were relevant on any chart in the last ten years? The last thing I remember Soldier Boy doing was uh um uh was that was he the one that did hop up at the bag and turn my swag on or Pretty Boy Swag? Shit, girl, I don't even know. That's that's how far I I don't want to I want to say you had something um. In like 2009, something after Soldier Boy hit that, whatever that bullshit. Oh, you was on that yes, bitch, yes with Nicki Minaj. That was your last accomplishment, bitch. Was screaming like a queen on a Nicki Minaj track. So, you trying to say about you are 25 million as if that gives you the excuse to be an asshole? Well, you could take them 25, supposed 25 million and go find you a new dumb bitch to uh, fuck with. Because I... I done wasted nine years of my life fucking with your ass. But even then, night, Nia, you kind of stupid for going there for nine years. I mean, I am confident also that the dick could not be that good for you to be sitting there getting uh, uh, abused by somebody who has God bless tattooed on their eyeballs. 
I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. So, Brandy and Max. So, she decides to go home, get the little melted chocolate strawberries, getting her finest lingerie and lighting candles and shit, waiting for her man to come home. I'm like, all right. I mean, if there's any way to start it getting right, this is it. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, they talk about, you know, you work so hard and, you know, I know I could be a little bit crazy and you're so handsome. You're so handsome. <laughs> God, that's so wrong. <laughs> I'm just like, handsome is not the adjective I would choose, but that's your love. That's your, you got it, baby. And I don't, so I can't say nothing. But anyway, <clears throat> you know, he was saying how it was fucked up and he, what he did with the ring and whatnot. And, he done went and he done got them all new rings. I'm like, oh, clap, 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 clap. Somebody got some act right. I, I was like, okay, that was good to see. Nice to see somebody doing some shit right, or at least trying to do some shit right on this damn show. <sighs> okay. Now we get to the part of the show where, bitch, I threw my hands in the motherfucking air. <laughs> oh, whoo. Okay. <laughs> Nikki gallops on to Nas's little event. And it's like, you know, basically, she tried to ask about, you know, what was the whole thing about the modeling search? Do you still want the girls or whatever? She was like, no, we decided to go in a different direction. You know, no shade to you, but uh, I just felt like you know, when me and Tierra met with you to talk about, you know, the gig and you brought up the whole thing about Soldier Boy, like, I can't really respect that. You need to, you know, have more respect for yourself. She said, you need to value yourself more. And she was just like, you know what? Why don't you do, um, why don't you do like everybody else and go hop on another dick and try to get up on mine? Bef you know, bef don't try to come up here and talk about shit that you don't have facts on. And she was like, oh, no, but I do have the facts. <laughs> uh, it's, I mean, she was trying to say that it was the same situation that Mala Mala was in, but I'm just like, is it really? I don't think it. I, mm, I don't think it is because she was the girlfriend. <laughs> like, and she gave that example. She's like, well, the difference is I was the girlfriend. Masika was the side bitch. If she, if he's on social media claiming her, fucking her on the regular, and putting her out there, holding her hands with her, even if you fuck, even if you fucked him last week, two weeks ago, or this morning, bitch, you are still not his girlfriend. <laughs> And so that's that was the difference. So she did kind of clock that. And when they sort of got into a little spat, Nas reached her hand over her mouth. Threw up. Now, I just, I don't know what I thought would indict this, but she threw up, and I'm just like, oh my God, how embarrassing. I was about to almost feel sorry for her until the next few seconds. I'm sorry, thinking about it is just, I, this bitch sat, threw up in her hand, and then proceeded to throw, said throw up. On at Nikki now in her fa in her face, bitch. Girl, let me tell you something. Nas would have died that day. Nikki, you should have put a bat to her motherfucking dog. You don't throw throw up on me, bitch. Now it was bad enough when last week when Tiara spit at Princess. That's already fucking gross. But this bitch threw up and threw it up. Girl, Nick, nah, she would've been dead. Fuck whooping her ass, fuck beating her down. That bitch would be dead, R.I.P. Sunrise and sunset, bitch, you do not. Th I can just imagine, because Nikki, we are clearly not one and the same person, because I could just imagine if I'm fighting with a bitch 
and this bitch proceeds to regurgitate and throw it said regurgitation at my face I think everything would have went black and the next thing I would have known she would have been pulverized into the hospital on a life uh, on a life machine or whatever they call it life support and I've been behind bars because there's just no way <laughs> there's just no fucking way I can sit and deal with somebody throwing up at me. Not oh, not only did she just die, she didn't throw a drink, she didn't even just spit. This bitch. Th I'm 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 remembering the scene in my head. It's really making me sick. I would have killed the bitch. She would have been dead in the in the fucking who bit. I could not believe. I had to pause my TV. I could not believe it. I was like, no, they didn't just don't show this shit on Love and Hip Hop, though. I mean, spit is one. <sighs> Nas, nah, you was already a yuck mouth, bitch. I'm sorry. I'm really trying not to throw up. <laughs> this shit's so fucking nasty. You was already a yuck mouth, bitch, but now you have the nerve to throw up from said yuck mouth and throw it. At All right. We're done talking about it. I'm, <laughs> I'm moving forward because there's no way. There's just no way. Anyways, moving forward past that bullshit. Miles and his sisters. Now, I was about to read these hoes at first because, you know, Miles came and he wanted to tell them before Amber because she was uh, threatening to tell her his whole family, which is a bitch move on your part, Amber. He didn't even have to tell you, but he gave you that respect that you going to go out here and act a fool so I lost more respect for you. Anyways, he's at his sister's house and <clears throat> he says he wants to talk about who he's been dating and the fact that he had been dating, you know, a man. And the older one that looked um, kind of like Big Frida, she was like, we have morals. Are you just saying fuck God? I'm like, okay. All right, I'm not even gonna go, I'm not even gonna delve into that because that's in a whole nother video and this video will be like an hour long when it comes to the whole religion and gay thing. But let's just say I disagree <laughs> about the whole fuck God thing. Like we can't have our own relationship with God and like the fact that we love the way that we wanna love somehow makes it worse when y'all are out here doing the most gutter butt trollop shit that we, anyway. I just said we weren't going to talk about it, but just know that I disagree with what she said and was about to read her. But at the same time, I have to kind of realize, okay, these are religious people that have, you know, their beliefs and whatnot. But she came around and said, you know, regardless of that fact, you're still my brother and I still love you and we're going to still be here for you no matter what. I'm like, I'm glad you said that, bitch, because you was going down the wrong path. <laughs> you was going down the wrong path. And she's like... We, you know, we we wanted nieces and nephews and we wanted to see you with the wife. I'm like, that's okay. That's fucking selfish. All right. <clears throat> Talking about some, oh, we wanted nieces and nephews and we wanted to see you with the wife. Okay, great. What about what I want? <laughs> okay. It's like, just because you had this path of, or this vision of who you thought that I was supposed to be, doesn't mean that. I'm less of a person or I should be treated as less of a person if I don't embody that, okay? Regardless of who my parents are, who my whole family is, this is still an all-around individual person, okay, who has their own life, their own dreams, their own values, and their own beliefs. So, I don't, I hate to see people talking about, oh, we had this plan, we wanted to see you with a wife. Okay, great. I want a million dollars. Guess what? Neither of them is going to happen. So, we're going to have to get over it. <laughs> so, that's my review of this week's Love and Hip Hop. And next week, we're going to see <laughs> Miles tells that um, him and Milan have been dating. And she goes to see him in the studio. wonder how that conversation went. <laughs> but we're going to see. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you comment below. I'm still trying not to throw up. Make sure you comment below about everything that we talked about this particular episode. Especially that you know what. And we'll, I'll be responding in the comments to you guys and what you say. And we'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye-bye.
like, like share, share, subscribe, subscribe.